Welcome, Dr. Inter. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice to see you again in comment. My pleasure. Okay, could you tell something more about uh, Dr. Box voice therapy? Yeah. What it is, who can use it? So the, in fact, the historical story started uh, in the beginning of 19th, 19th century. So uh, it was started with glass tubes. Then in 1950s in Finland, a logopedist uh, used the glass tubes for uh, putting them into some water and phonating into these glass tubes. Then in 1990s, another logopedist from uh, Finland, Marketa Sipo, has started to do this with lax box and some silicone tubes. I just went to her workshops and I started to make it by myself and for my patients. You know, I am originally work as an otolaryngologist, but uh, I do only laryngology and I am also an audiologist and speech pathologist and I'm working uh, in biophysics. For my patients, it was the beginning for uh, my history and Dr. Vox history. Um, I started to seek some solutions which will give uh, successful results. The Dr. Vox prototype study has started. I just created the Dr. Vox glass apparatus. I devised the pocket box. Until then, everything was in physical uh, saying, everything was similar with tubes and phonation into tubes, one end dipped into some water. Yes. After that, I have devised the first oral speech and singing mask in the literature, and we call it mask box. You can mount the mask box into the pocket box, or if you wish, Dr. Box apparatus. So it changed uh, the history. The Dr. Vox method is another approach, the uh, framework of uh, voice therapy and uh, vocal training. The Dr. Vox approach provides a multi-level, multi-dimensional strategy to the clinician, to the pedagogue. So you are working mainly with uh, patients uh, who had surgery, uh, or you also are working with singers? Yeah. Of course, uh, singing is uh, part of my life. Mm -hmm. uh, because you are also it a comes, singer. It comes from my childhood. Mm -hmm. I started with voice therapy with my patients, of course. But after that, the singers found me and I started to help them. I went to the Conservatory of Music uh, for two years mm -hmm. just to understand them what they need and what they seek for. Uh, then I started to make some uh, lectures and since 10 years, over 10 years, 12, it's now 12 years, I have been giving pedagogical vocology lessons in uh, three different universities of singing schools. Yes, so Dr. Vox devices are good for uh, treating voice, but also for learning how to sing. Especially uh, the, the mask was devised for singers. Yes. Because free articulation, especially into the mask, was the main aim of uh, that study. And after that, it, it became a game changer, I have to tell you. Mm -hmm. So, let's talk about devices. So, could you explain something more about it? Yeah, of course. So, this is the first one, the, the Dr. Box apparatus. It's glass. It has its uh, own building bag. And you can uh, see that it has two pieces. And one piece is a tube. There are two tubes here. Uh, one, each, uh, one in uh, each other, and you put it inside the container, you uh, lock it and with the locker clips, and you put uh, some uh, water in it, and you uh, bubble uh, with your uh, voice. 
The other one is, as you know, the, the, the most popular, popular. The, the most popular <laughs> yes. uh, pocket box. It's also a, also a tube, but it has uh, levels so that you can see uh, how much back pressure uh, you use during phonation, and you can close uh, when you uh, carry it uh, with uh, some water uh, in the uh, bottle. So its bottle is a cello bottle. Yes, uh, yes. So it's also new. It is, it's, yes, it's uh, a new one. So you can use uh, this with this bottle, but you can use a uh, pocket box with ordinary uh, drinking uh, pet water bottles also. Again, you put some water into it, and you ponate into the tube, and you bubble the water. Uh, what happens here is, first, you elongate your vocal tract, yes. physically. Why do we need it? Because it makes the vocal folds vibrate easily. Mm -hmm. And the resonance cavity of the vocal tract is elongated. And, so it's, and it's bigger. Yes. So it's an advantage. Mm -hmm. a physical and physiological advantage. Yes. Also, we make an SOVT, semi-occluded vocal tract exercise by having the tube only because it's uh, an narrow uh, orifice which uh, semi-occludes our vocal tract and when we put it into uh, some amount of water this water also semi-occludes the uh, vocal tract so uh, physically, uh, it's a physical term but I have to say that we increase the inertance of our phonation system what does it make? Mm -hmm. the result is important. Yes. Uh, you can make sounds easily. You can make sounds uh, by vibrating your vocal folds more symmetrically. You use less energy for higher uh, loudness. And it's safe because, because of the back pressure, the vocal fold impact during uh, phonation is less. So you can make warm up, you can make cool down, you can massage on your vocal folds and uh, you can safely work for rehearsals. Mm -hmm. By the way, for a singer it's very important to develop the registers and the passaggio study. Yes. Uh, develop and combine the registers and uh, elongation of the vocal tract and an ACDC back pressure uh, really helps to register development and uh, smoothening the passaggio. Of course, it's not a device to be used because we have a method. It's our tool. Our goal is not to give a device just use it and go away. It's not. You know, it's, it's the same in vocal pedagogy and uh, in uh, voice therapy as well, in clinic as well. So, uh, tubes can be used not correctly? Of course, of course. So I mean, it's a tool. The main idea is to perform a strategy by using the tool. So it's not enough only to have a tool? No. Knowledge is the real power. Okay, so what would you suggest to singers and um, of course if somebody needs a voice therapy he will not make it by himself uh, only, but singers try to warm up by themselves, so what would you suggest them? First of all they need to learn it uh, from educated certified teachers. As you know we give uh, workshops all over the world, especially in Poland. In Krakow. In yeah. Krakow, <laughs> yes. And then they can start in simple exercises. I mean, warming up and cooling down after learning it in, in a few sessions is uh, a piece of cake. Yes. But after that, uh, the advanced study of Dr. Vox therapy is up to the user, up to the singer. If they want to proceed in their voices to be developed for a, a professional performance on stage, then they need to learn, they need to exercise.
And what's the difference between your devices and some just just tube? Just tube, you mean hoses for, for the gardens, for right? For <laughs> Yes. Um, first of all, we are using it in human beings. And we have to think about the most healthy way that we can uh, give to our patients and to our students. First of all, it is made of silicone. It's a high quality silicone which is also used in health and in uh, kitchen uh, equipments. Mm -hmm. People can easily put them into their mouth and it's safe. And it's, safe. Yes. it's an inert particle and it can be used for a long time, mm -hmm. even for years. Yes. So one device will be with you with your exercises for years. So it is important to keep it in a, a hygienic condition. You can wash it with the kitchen detergents. You can wash, of course, hand wash is uh, recommended. And also, this is not a single tool. We have a very important complementary tool, which we call as the mask box. Yes. So this is uh, especially for singers. I use it also in my patients, but this, it, for the singers in pedagogical vocology practice, it changed uh, the history, at least my history, and uh, I call it a game changer. Uh, and it can be mounted easily to the our pocket box, mm -hmm. and you can use it easily uh, with a free articulation. So you can sing into the mask. Lyrics. Yes, by uh, using the advantages of the tube and the back pressure. Mm -hmm. And also, it is a dampener for your voice. You stay in a hotel and you want to make a rehearsal in the hotel room. When you sing your song freely into the mask, nobody will heal, hear you. That's not so loud. Yes, it's, it just dampens the voice. But on the other hand, you use your muscles, you use your vocal folds, and you use your diaphragm perfectly in a full range. One important thing uh, that I would like to add is moisturizing the vocal folds. It's a very important, critical factor in having a good voice. Of course, the singers are supposed to drink so much water. Especially on the scene. Uh, exactly. <laughs> uh, but also, they need to have a warm, but uh, also a moistened air to breathe in. The doctor walks especially, when you breathe in from the other side of the apparatus, mm -hmm. something like that, the dry air comes uh, from outside, moistens inside, and that humid air will humidify your vocal folds. Yeah, directly. And you can do it with the pocket box also. Mm -hmm. So, five years ago um, you visited Poland for the first time. We organized workshops with the Natural Voice Perfection Institute. And it lasted two days, almost uh, nine or ten hours a day. What happens on the workshop? So, what are you talking for so many hours? First of all, it was not my first time in Warsaw, uh, in, in Poland. Uh, five years ago. Yes, yes, I know. I that. have been here when I was a student. <laughs> oh, yes. In 1989, okay. I worked in a Warsaw hospital. I first gave these devices, the, the tube, to the participants. Mm -hmm. And I tell them, just phonate into it and bubble. Okay? And this is the end of workshop. And this is the end of the <laughs> workshop. And uh, they, they are surprised. And I tell them that I will try to make to phonate into tube more and more difficult at the end of 10 hours. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, using a scissor, how difficult can it be? Using a scissor, right? Can do it. Well, how difficult can it be? But if you are using the scissor on a human being in a surgery, mm -hmm. now it changes, right? Yes. This is a device, a simple device, 
but it took me two years to uh, devise that simple device, but okay. Um, it is a simple device, but giving some exercises, treatment or education exercises to a student or to a patient, maybe they don't need to know many things. Your students, maybe in, in the, especially in the beginning, they don't need to know everything, but as a pedagogue or as a clinician, you need to know everything. Yes. Each exercise, why are you using that or this exercise for a specific reason? If you know the mechanism under the exercise, the muscle mechanism under the exercise, then you will be successful. That's it. So these workshops are dedicated to teachers, voice teachers? Teachers, voice teachers, singers, and uh, people who are using their voices, in, especially in their occupational uh, purposes. Mm -hmm. But also for the clinicians who are interested in voice therapy. Speech pathologists. Especially speech pathologists, uh, phoniatricians, laryngologists, if they are interested. Okay. So do you like Poland? It's my second hometown <laughs> here. Okay, I'm glad to yeah, hear it. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm planning to uh, live in Poland in some time. Okay, <laughs> yes. okay. Why not? Why not? At the end, uh, maybe you will tell us, is some new device coming or well, what are your plans for the future? It's a secret. <laughs> maybe uh, not much people are listening to this, so I'm going to tell you. <laughs> okay. So, I will not tell anybody. Okay. <laughs> uh, so mm -hmm. now we are uh, working on a mechanic electronic device oh. mm -hmm. uh, to provide uh, some advantages during uh, voice therapy and vocal education. And we are working an accessory uh, device to these. Uh, to humidify the vocal folds directly mm -hmm. and of course I'm developing the system uh, each and every day. Needs are the uh, mothers of uh, inventions. Everything started from my and my patients needs. In fact I did it for myself and my patients but then a friend uh, came uh, from another city in Turkey and he said why other people uh, cannot use these? So I said I don't know because uh, I'm not uh, a manufacturer or... He said I am. So we started the Dr. Vox uh, company uh, and it became a very sincere, intuitive uh, company. Uh, we have uh, many friends, uh, not clients, uh, from all over the world. What's his name? Attila Özbilen. Okay, I think I know him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I will be very happy to have you again in Poland in some time on the next workshops. It's my pleasure and honor. Yes. Thank you for the conversation. Thank you.